Chihuahuas are little, adorable canines that are sassy and full of personality. There are a lot of reasons why they are one of the most well-known breeds of dogs in Mexico. Chihuahuas are expressive and regal dogs who constantly strive to be the focus of attention thanks to their bouncy little walk and elegant aura. Therefore, it may be delicate to pet one of these. Since there are certain things you should never do to your Chihuahua, here are 10 things you must never do to your Chihuahua. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Don't poke their head ever. A Chihuahua should never have its head poked because their heads have a soft area. Chihuahuas resemble newborn humans. Their heads have a molara, which is a soft place, from birth. Though many Chihuahuas have it their entire lives, this area gradually closes in newborn humans. Avoid stressing over too much if your Chihuahua has a molara. Just use extra care and attention when handling your dog. Number 9. Do not overlook basic education. Many owners believe that because their Chihuahua is little, training is unnecessary. That is untrue. A poorly behaved dog is a real pain. Even in training schools designed for small dogs, Chihuahuas occasionally struggle and may bark out of panic. They are unable to learn anything once they are barking and overstimulating. Think about game-based education. If you can't make it to a training facility, you can do this at home. Number 8. Don't do anything that scares them. Use of electrical devices, squirting your dog with water, rattling coin tins, or any other method of startling your dog into stillness is never allowed. All you will get in the end is a dejected dog that remains silent. Never think about barking your dog. It's even against the law in the UK and is incredibly harsh and terrible. First, find your dog a new home. Chihuahua behavior issues sometimes involve excessive barking. The key to getting excessive barking from a dog is understanding why they do it and knowing how to respond to them. Number 7. Never provide unfiltered tap water to your Chihuahua. Fluoride, barium, beryllium, chloride, chloramines, and trichloroethane can damage organs when consumed over a long period and are all found in every state's tap water in the U.S. Chromium-6, a known carcinogen, is also present in the water of at least 200 million Americans and is present in every state's tap water. Though, you can safeguard your Chihuahua by utilizing a filtering system attached to your kitchen faucet, a tool like the Aquagir water filter pitcher, which is incredibly good at removing impurities, or bottled spring water. Number 6. Don't use old shampoo. You're not alone if you don't give the type of pet shampoo you use to bathe your shy much thought. Regarding the health of your skin and coat, it's crucial. Choose a product that doesn't contain any chemical additives and employs plant-based cleansers. Earth Bath All Natural Shampoo, which comes in a variety of fantastic recipes, is one that we highly suggest. The Mediterranean Magic is the best option if your Chihuahua has a tendency to stink. The oatmeal and aloe is good for all shy, and the tea tree and aloe is beneficial for shy with irritated skin. Number 5. Do not let your Chihuahua jump off the furniture. Perhaps your shy is skilled at jumping up and down from your couch or living room furniture. Chihuahuas shouldn't be performing this, though. The sole exception is for shy that weigh 12 pounds or more and are much bigger than typical because of a strong physical structure rather than extra body fat. There is always a chance of tearing ligaments, particularly near the knee, a sliding kneecap, and even damaged bones with small breeds like the Chihuahua. Such a wound may require expensive medical care and a protracted healing process. Long-term problems are also possible, such as arthritis growing where the damage was sustained. Number 4. Do not allow aggressive behavior to go unnoticed. A professional trainer may need to be called in if actions like growling and biting are ignored since they could get worse. In certain circumstances, this happens already. If your chihuahua growls or nips at you, respond by putting them in a timeout where they can see you but are not allowed to engage. This will help to reinforce your status as the pack leader and will also show that you are the alpha. Number 3. Don't presume chihuahuas can self-exercise inside for the majority of the day. Chihuahuas are tiny enough to be able to roam freely within the majority of houses and apartments. This, however, is not the same as deliberate outside exercise. Taking a chihuahua outside for brisk walks regularly enables a shy to let off steam, 
and use its incredible canine senses. It's also very good for the heart, helps a shy retain healthy muscle mass, and keeps the metabolism running smoothly. Last but not least, exposing a chihuahua to stimuli frequently such as other dogs, kids, cars, etc. and help the dog become less sensitive to it over time. Number 2. Take care of the environment. Chihuahuas favor warm climates for their homes. So, getting a chihuahua is not a good option if you live in a cold region, such as in the highlands. They are quite sensitive to the cold. Despite the cold outdoors, there are lots of methods to keep your beloved pet warm inside. However, you must maintain a warm, pleasant climate indoors if you intend to allow a chihuahua into your home. Number 1. Do not overfeed your chihuahua. In chihuahuas, obesity is a serious issue. You might overfeed your chihuahua due to her exaggerated personality and high level of energy, which can result in obesity. Overfeeding can cause diabetes, heart disease, lung illness, abnormal bone formation, skin issues, rheumatoid arthritis, and other severe medical conditions. Several elements, including age, activity level, and certain medical requirements, can affect how much you feed your chihuahua. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.